guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jade Wolf and this here is Misha, our dwarf hamster. Today we want to share with you how to sanitize driftwood for your hamster's cage. But first we're going to watch her sniff the air and clean her little nose and her little fur face and we're going to watch her clean her little eyeballs and oh, we're going to clean her little paws and then she's going to, oh her little paws disappear when she goes down on all fours. Oh, and we're going to see her go to the next bin cage and we're going to, oh, sorry, thanks for getting me back on track, girl. I bought a couple of pieces of driftwood for my hamster's cage, a large one and a medium sized one. As you can see here, they're a bit awkwardly shaped to sanitize, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Before we get started, we need to gather some supplies. I have here a 10 liter stock pot. You're going to need one that is large enough to hold your driftwood. You're also going to need a pair of tongs, which will help you get a hold of the driftwood when it gets hot, and a ladle. First, fill the stock pot with water and bring the temperature up so that it is just under a boil. Place the driftwood into the water and take care not to splash any of it onto you. Once you do that, set an alarm for 20 minutes. I'm pretty forgetful, so I have to set an alarm. You'll notice that the water will start to turn brown, but don't worry, this is completely normal. It's like what happens when you're brewing tea, except you don't want to drink this. Now, even though I set an alarm for 20 minutes, I still want to go back and check on it occasionally to make sure that it's not boiling over. Remember, we want to keep the water temperature just below boiling. Because this is such a massive piece of driftwood, I'm going to ladle hot water over sections of it to sanitize it. If your driftwood is smaller, Go ahead and submerge that thing underwater. Oh, and be sure to hang on to any part of the driftwood that's sticking out of the water to give it some stability. The last thing you want is to bring down a pot of hot water all over you. Once I sanitized the entire thing, I took it outside to dry under the sun. Even though the surface will feel dry when you take it out of the pot, at least the part that's not underwater, it will still be wet on the inside. So you want to make sure that the entire thing is dry before placing it into your hamster's cage to prevent anything nasty from growing, like mold. Now on to the next piece. I have here a square shaped driftwood that I'm sanitizing in the same pot of water I used for the previous driftwood. The reason I'm reusing this water is to not only save myself time from having to reboil that amount of water all over again, but also to save water and energy. So it's a win-win situation. After placing the driftwood into the pot, I noticed the water level was a bit low. A lot of it had evaporated. To bring that water level back up, I separately boiled some water in a water kettle and added it into the stock pot. By bringing the water level back up, it helps sanitize more areas of the driftwood at a time. Once the medium piece was clean, I brought it outside to dry. Let it sit outside for about 24 hours. If you can't leave it outside to dry for whatever reason, don't worry. You can let it dry indoors. I had to bring mine indoor because a thunderstorm rolled in. think of a better segue. Anyway. Once that's done, you are good to go to put it into your hammy's cage. I really like the natural themed cages. In my opinion, driftwood are excellent items to add to that theme. You can create interesting topography with them by pairing them with other items you have, like um, tubes, hideaways, and even with the amount of bedding you use, like if you want to create hills and slopes and little valleys, per se. 
Essentially, you can create a fun jungle gym with those items uh, where your hammy can climb and jump, crawl and tunnel under. It also provides little nooks and crannies where you can hide treats, which rewards your hamster for exploring. Overall, it creates a stimulating environment for a hammy and helps break up that boredom as well. When we first got Misha, we got this piece of driftwood you see here. We would hide treats in the little holes in the driftwood. Um, since then, she's memorized where to find all the treats. So every night when she wakes up, uh, she'll check all the special spots in her cage to see if we hit any seeds or millet. It's super cute to watch. She's also gotten really good at climbing all over the driftwood and leaping off of it. I'm pretty sure we have a ninja hamster now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave us a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!